so as always there have some limitations also k means and k means plus plus that we have discussed in previous lecture so let's try to visualize the what is the limitations let's try to visualize these things for an examples the slide i have taken from the, uh, the linked share website just search it on the limitations of the k means then you can easily find just uh, for referring i am taking that from linkedin website link uh, uh, share linked okay just linkedin website i am taking from this slide from there okay so now try to understand what is the limitations of the k? so the limitations of the k means is so the things depends on our size what kind of size cluster we have what kind of densities for our our cluster we have what kind of shapes also based on these three types of the cluster we have faced some limitations okay now let's uh, let's uh, let's try to means uh, just to don't be confused the non globular means one kind of you can call this non globular as non convex non convex okay non convex and uh, the the k uh, the k means outlier has the problem when the data contains the outlier okay this already if we have different kind of size density shapes then also there have some limitations as well there have some limitations also for if we have some outliers for our data if we have the outliers of our data then then as well we have some problems of the k means algorithm now let's try to understand these things through this example so suppose the examples that uh, that here i have taken so this is the actual original uh, original data points these are original data points t and uh, these limitations are based on mean based on the mainly the different sizes based on mainly the different sizes of the suppose let's take this is the original points and uh, just seeing just just without without coloring this this data if you showing this data to a uh, to a kit then they can easily conclude that uh, this is a one cluster this is another cluster this is another cluster this is another cluster without showing the any any marking without showing with without doing any coloring this data set just showing this picture then can easily go and draw that this are one cluster this is one cluster and this is one cluster but the problem here if we for this data set if we if we apply the k means algorithms means three cluster if we taken k is equals to three algorithms then by simple picking this sometime we faced that the k means algorithms give some this kind of output this is one cluster this is one cluster this is one cluster this is one cluster it's totally different from here totally different very different very different outlier very different cluster here we got okay just this is the first kind of uh, first kind of limitations okay but uh, we will we will see in the future video how to remove these limitations we'll see but now now in this video just try to understand what kind of limitations what kind of problem we have to face in our real data just try to understand this so if we have different kind of different sizes of cluster in the k means algorithms generally try to fail to detect the original kind of cluster this is one limitation say now the second kind of based on the density that we have discussed we will mainly try to find the size based density based and shape based so now this is the size based problem that we have to face now the density based problem see this picture this is the original data point d this is the original data point and the cluster that have here that the clusters that have here it's the three different type of clusters three different density based type of it. so the clusters the red color cluster, cluster red color clusters are means sparse cluster this cluster are the mainly sparse cluster sparse cluster this so the blue color cluster blue color cluster cluster are mainly is the dense based cluster dense dense cluster this color as well as this color the dense based cluster okay okay these three are the three different type of clusters 
these three are the three different type of clusters this is the red one is the sparse cluster blue and the green one i um, mean slight green they are the dense based cluster but if we apply here the k-means algorithms if we apply here then we've shown that we'll show that this is one cluster the k-means algorithms detect that it is one cluster it is one cluster and it is another cluster it is another cluster they have detected the three different clusters they have detected but uh, this is also totally this conclusion is totally this is the original one but k means cluster detect totally wrong totally wrong cluster. now now let's try to understand the safe based limitations suppose the limitations they are have is the non gobular type non gobular means you can con you can take it as a non convex set non convex already we have discussed in previous one of our previous lectures what is non convex set means non convex step step picture you see this one the original one these pictures this this uh, these shapes are the original one okay these shapes are the uh, d this is the original one if you asked without any labeling if you asked anyone they can easily separate this is one cluster and uh, this is another cluster if you ask anyone they can easily separate this this is another cluster but uh, if we apply the k means because we have here we have seen they have two cluster if we apply the two means algorithms then the k means algorithms they take that this one is then one cluster this one is in one cluster and this one is in another cluster this is limitations of the k-means just try to understand this and there have some techniques to remove such kind of problem we will discuss uh, in, in 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 at time progress we will discuss these things but to now try to understand how what kind of problem we have to face in the in your data set okay this is a, this is a safe based problem okay this is the actually this is one is the non convex set non convex because if you were convex just remember just if you remember these are the convex kind of if you join this point this joining also lie on this set this is this convex this is a convex set but data that we have this is a non convex this side to data if you just take one point here and one point here if you join this joining point light on this these are the non-convex and this one is the convex already we have discussed this thing what is convex what is non-convex already we have discussed just but this kind of limitations mainly we have to face okay now how to overcome these things so the one hack is to overcome this kind of problem the one hack that is is the overcome on solutions is to use the many cluster many cluster instead of using uh, two or three if we use the various many cluster suppose let's take here we have used k equals to 15 k equals to 15 instead of using three clusters just if you use this three if you use the k equals to 15 then the k means algorithms so divided the whole regions into 15 parts 15 clusters this one this one this one this one like that like that they will partition this thing this one cluster this is one cluster this one is one cluster now now the main challenging part is that but here originally originally we have three clusters originally we have three clusters this is one cluster this is one cluster this is one cluster but if we apply the k means means 15 if we choose the hyperparameter k is equals to 15 then the k means algorithms divide the whole regions into 15 cluster so it will be like that but the main challenging part here is that to to put the cluster into a single cluster the find the parts find the parts of the cluster and uh, but the need to put together this is the one challenging one put together this one is the most Okay, 
but they have some mathematics they have some tricks to how to put the similar kind of cluster into a single cluster there are some tricks well, we will, as time progresses we will see this thing we will see but now try to understand the problem so um, so now the job that after breaking this the solutions the overcome these solutions after making the small type of parts uh, small type of after after making the small portions of cluster, uh, cluster we have to put together into a single cluster we have to put together into a single cluster then we will make this job then we will make these jobs this is one solutions now the question is in the, in future video we will see how to put this cluster into a single cluster we will, we will see this thing here is also if you just take this density based density based and if we apply the k means algorithms for k is equals to suppose let's take i have applied k is equals to 13 13 so then then the cluster that we got like that it is one cluster is one cluster is one cluster is one it is one like that different kind of okay now at the end of the day we have to put together into a single cluster this one we have to put together this one then we got then we'll got this picture so the th that main task to put together to put together is a most challenging part and not an easy task as well okay now we'll see these things how to overcome this problem similarly for here also similarly for here also here we will know this is a two cluster here we will we will see that here this is a two cluster here we have we will see that two cluster But if we apply the k means, then we'll see if we apply the sample k means, 2k means, just I'm talking about 2k means, then our k means detect this is the cluster, this is different cluster. But here, if we apply the instead of using 2 means, if we apply the k is equals to, suppose let's take, uh, I've taken here 20, 20, then our cluster k means are, are make this is small, make such kind of small cluster, this one, this one, this kind, such kind of small cluster. cluster this one okay such kind of small cluster now the main challenging the main more interesting one is they put put this cluster into a single cluster put this cluster into a single cluster as well put this cluster into a single into a single cluster this is the most challenging and most interesting as well okay this is the most interesting part in k mean k sorry not k means algorithm k mean k means algorithm we will see these things as time progressed as time progressed we will see these things how to remove such kind of limitations but the, I think from this from this slide, you got some idea what kind of problem we have to face to the sample use the k-means algorithm if we use the k-means algorithms. And in which situations this kind of problem we have to face? Be ready on to that. So in next lecture, we will see how to remove this kind of problem, how to remove this kind of problem on our data sets. We will see these things. And when we will discuss the case study, when we will discuss the case study, then we will see. When you use the raw data, then you practically you will see this thing kind of problem you have to face. And as well, we have to remove this problem by using some tricks and beautiful mathematical hacks. Okay. So I think from this lecture you got the idea what kind of limitations, what kind of drawback the cabins have, and uh, how to remove these things. We'll see these things, how to remove these things in proper mathematical way. But uh, I think you got the idea from these slides. Okay. So we'll see you in the next video.